What I would tell a parent uh, when they are making this, making a very difficult decision on where to treat their child with liver cancer is that um, Texas Children's is probably the best place to, to be. Um, there is everything available here that is known to help children with liver cancers. We are really fortunate here at Texas Children's that there is an exceptional group of people who work as part of a multidisciplinary team to take care of children with liver cancer. Um, there, there are pediatric oncologists, pediatric surgeons, pediatric pathologists, radiologists, interventional radiologists, hepatologists, transplant surgeons, child life specialists, all focused and, and working together to provide the best possible care for these kids. So liver cancer is rare in children. There is about 150, 200 cases in the country, and we see about 20 to 30 cases here at Texas Children's. Some of them newly diagnosed here, some of them are sent to us uh, as uh, referrals by other centers. One of the good things of, of seeing so many patients here at Texas Children's each year is that the rare is no longer that rare to us. I think, you know, we get better at what we practice. So if we see a, a lot of children with liver cancer and work as a team and discuss these patients and, and push each other to make sure that we are doing the very best thing for them in, in all aspects of the care, I think that is really a, a, a fundamental part of, of what we should be doing and what we do here. Currently, the standard of care for children with liver cancer is you know, surgical resection. It is really a fundamental aspect that if we can completely remove the tumor, whether it's an operation or sometimes even taking the liver out and, and replace it with a new liver, so through liver transplantation, the surgical resection is, is, is a fundamental part. Uh, second, we use chemotherapy uh, before or after or, or both, sometimes um, in the context of uh, the operation to make sure that if there is some tumors left after surgery on the microscopic level then we can make we can get rid of them effectively we are in the forefront of developing new strategies to effectively and safely uh, treat these patients with liver tumors there is only a few centers that appro that offer, for example, transarterial radioembolization as a technique to help children who have unremovable, unresectable liver cancer. So this strategy advances a catheter through the blood vessels of the patient all the way to the supplying artery of the tumor, and that uh, can deliver uh, radioactivity at a very, very small location so it doesn't radiate outside of the patient but right there where it is infused it can cause significant uh, toxicity on the cancer cells. Immunotherapy basically uses the body's own defense system infection fighting machinery to get rid of cancer. There are various types of immunotherapy um, but the one that our center is very interested in is called cell therapy or CAR T cell therapy. When we are collecting a special type of white blood cell from the patient, genetically engineering it in the laboratory, expand it to uh, have a larger number of these cancer fighting cells, and then reinfuse it into the patients. So the goal is that when they are infused, they will get to the tumor site, attack the tumor, and get rid of it completely. And so this strategy works really nicely now in some types of leukemias already. And so now the question is how can we apply similar you know, technology or similar approach for liver cancer? And to my best knowledge, this is the first study in the, in the world that will um, uh, try to do this in, in children with liver tumors. Leading an outstanding group of people in state-of-the-art facilities to provide the best possible care of uh, children with liver cancer is really just a dream coming true and, and I'm really fortunate to lead this program.